All right, people of YouTube, what I want to tell you how to do today is how to program a third key to your Jeep Wrangler. This is a JK, so this would be applicable years from 2007 until 2018, I believe. It would be a similar process. This may apply to other vehicles as well. I'm not sure, but I, I'm just going to show you what works for my Jeep. So what you're going to need is two original keys. If you do not have two keys and you only have one, unfortunately, you're going to have to go to the dealer and get a second key programmed. But if you have two keys, you can program up to eight keys total, I believe. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do today is how if you have two, how to program the additional keys. I bought two keys from Amazon. I think it was 30 or $35 for two keys. And I had them cut at my local Ace Hardware. It's technically against their policy to cut outside keys, but I talked the person into doing it. So, oh, by the way, my Jeep only came with one key. I had to go pay $338 for my second key at my local dealership. They really got me on that second key. But to not be in this position again, to make sure I have a couple of extra keys, giving me four keys total at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and program these other two. Okay, so to enter the programming mode, take your first key, place it in the ignition, turn it two clicks, and you wanna leave it a minimum of three seconds, but no longer than 15 seconds. Then turn it back to the off position, pull it out, quickly put in your second key, and place it to the on position, and you're gonna watch this red dot right here. Once that red dot starts to flash, you're going to turn this key back to the off position. There you go. You see it's flashing. So now what you're going to do is turn this key to the off position, pull it out, and put the key in you want to program. Put that to the on position. Now you see the, the red dot is flashing again. That's indicating that your key has been programmed. So you would go ahead and turn it to the off position. This key should now be programmed. Let's test it. And there we have it. You see the Jeep is started and continuing to run. If it was not programmed, it would start and then shut off once the um, security has realized it. you do not have a proper key in the car. So this feature also programs the door locks when you do it. So you can see the door locks are working and everything. So now you have yourself a third key. If you wanna do that with successive keys, just do the exact same process over again. Put in the first key, turn it two clicks, wait three to 15 seconds, turn it off, pull it out, put in the next key very quickly, two clicks, wait for the light to flash. Once the light flashes, turn it back off, pull it out, turn, put the key you wanna program into position, two clicks, and then turn it off and you should be good. So uh, YouTube, I hope this uh, video helps you out. Again, I got these keys from Amazon. Um, wait, that's the Jeep key. This is the Amazon key that I bought. You can see it looks quite a bit like the Jeep key. Side by side, they look almost identical. It's not until you see it from the back side that you see this actually different because the one from Jeep actually says Jeep on it. The one from Amazon is blank. So I hope this helps you out. YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, share this video with anyone you think might find it helpful. Thank you very much.